Kate Bellingham is an engineer, teacher and TV presenter. As well as her many other roles, she's often asked to present glittering award ceremonies. For some people, this would be enough. But for Kate's next high-profile presenting job, she's decided to up the stakes and wear a dress designed by secondary school students. But this is a dress with a difference. I've sent out the challenge to students who are taking textiles at GCSE and A-level. And, now this is where the engineering link comes in, it's got to include uh, e-textiles, smart materials, so things like uh, sensors and electronics and, and fiber optics, that kind of thing. It's going to be a showcase for textiles as part of design and technology and a showcase for modern British engineering. Kate and a group of experts from the fields of textiles, fashion and engineering have come together to judge the winning design. The students have been asked to deliver sketches of their dresses, plus examples of the technologies they'd use and fabric types. One member of the panel is Richard Green, Chief Executive of the D&T Association. E-Textiles is the incorporation of electronics into textiles, whatever that may be, through lighting effects, through making the fabrics move, um, but the integration of electronic components and electronic control within to a textiles, within to a fabric garment. Oh, mm, there are some themes coming out here. As with all design challenges, the project had to start with a well-defined brief. We tried to make it really clear in the brief what was needed, but still, looking at these entries, some of them have designed for themselves, and I'm not a 17-year-old textile student. Uh, but some of them have looked and, and, and realised that this is, it's, it's a lunchtime event, it's not an evening ball. I, I want to stand out, but I don't want to overshadow people. And it's great that they've really done their research and they have realised what actually is needed. The judges have received a range of designs, some good and some not so well thought out. Now, I'm going to wear this at the British Engineering Excellence Awards. It's a showcase for, um, you know, the best of British engineering is celebrated. To turn up in an outfit where the main feature of it is an American building. I, I, I love the outfit, I love the ideas, but I'm thinking it's not right for this event. The style really doesn't do anything for me, but what interested me was the practical idea and, and integrating it in a braid instead of just saying, oh, we're just going to sew a, sew a few on, you know. This student understood much better the integration of mm. technology mm. and the fashion detailing. I mean, he's the only one that went so far as to buy LEDs, actually, to see how they were made. After hours of painstaking deliberation, the judges have narrowed it down to two possibilities. Number two a sleek turquoise dress with LED crystals and fibre optics, and number eight, an elegant purple dress with matching jacket and integrated LED beading. We could probably go with either of them, but we need to decide. The advantage of this one is that the, the interesting features are happening above, above the waist, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, so they're going to yeah. be above the lectern. Yeah. Mm. Strangely, the thing that I'm, I'm less sure about is the sort of bodycon shape round the bum, because I'm, I don't usually wear that. I mean, it could be a pencil skirt, but actually it would be slightly A-line. Yeah, I mean, I would... So that is not too... Yeah. And also you can walk, because, like, this yeah. is like... Yeah. You have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things. I have to go up and down steps yeah, right. several times yeah. during the award ceremony. It's been well thought out that the idea that you, you'd have an embellished jacket mm -hmm. so that it would have the potential to wear in different situations. And what I liked about it was that... The LEDs here, the, the, the example given mm -hmm. was that your LEDs would, would sort of be integrated with beading. This one really wins on good design. It's yeah. just a mm -hmm. really yeah. nice garment. Mm -hmm. Very stylish and it will look beautiful on you. I think the color is very flattering. One of my concerns is that if this jacket that you wear over the top is so beautiful and sparkly with lots of LEDs mm -hmm. and lots of... How does it work when you take it off? My only concern is, at the moment, she has only spoken about LEDs. Yeah. Two great designs, but there can only be one winner. Which way are we going? Uh, 
I'd go for two. I'd go for two because it's different. Yeah, I like two as well. I think I'll have to vote for number eight. I want number two. It's a statement dress. Likewise, two. I'm going to go for two as well. Congratulations, number two. <laughs> and it is Abigail Williams. That's who we're going to be working with. So with the winning design chosen, the next stage will be for the group to meet with the winner at the design studio in London to see how this can be turned into a wearable dress before Kate finally takes to the stage. But industry experts want this competition to have a lasting effect. And what we're looking to do now is to take this and think, right, where will it lead? What can we do now to support teachers in developing their knowledge, in trying to encourage them to take e-textiles forward and to just show that British textiles is a lot more than just sewing and knitting. There are two other clips in the series giving the rest of the story and full resources to do the project in your school are available with the clips at www.teachers.tv.